Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Chechi. If you're a new subscriber, welcome, welcome. Please don't make it your last. If you're an old subscriber, thanks for sticking around with me. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a powerful face mask that's not only going to even out your skin, it's also going to make you glow because we all deserve to glow. This is Vlogmas Day 2 and we're still going strong. If you're enjoying my content, please subscribe. Why are you not subscribing? Do you want me to dress like Santa Claus before you subscribe? Please and please subscribe if you enjoy the content. I really appreciate it. Let's get right into it. Christmas tree at the Christmas party house. Hey loves, the face mask we are going to be doing today is a tomato and aloe vera face mask. The benefits of tomato include anti-cancer effect, protection from UV rays and vitamin C which aids wound healing. Also, it eases skin irritation, it stimulates collagen production and it helps remove dead skin cells. Aloe vera is amazing because it heals bones, it clears some bone, it moisturizes the skin, it soothes with psoriasis and eczema. It also helps to treat inflammatory acne and lighten blemishes on the skin. Precautions If you have an allergy to tomatoes or aloe vera, please do not use this face mask. And also, tomatoes cannot protect you some, from the sun, so get an adequate sunscreen for your skin. So, I know you must have seen the amazing benefits of aloe vera and tomatoes. So, I'm going to be using very little from this aloe vera, and then I'm going to use these plum red tomatoes. I'm going to extract the aloe vera from the aloe vera plant. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it and I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to slice this into little pieces so it will enable my not so powerful blender to blend it easily. So let's get right into it. So for this, I'm going to need um, a plate and a knife and I'm going to dice it into tiny pieces right now. I have sliced the tomatoes now, as you can see. The next thing I'm going to do now is to ensure that I extract the aloe vera from the plant safely so as not to irritate my skin or any of that. So let's get on with it. So you're going to get a knife and you're going to cut out the aloe vera plant like this. And the next thing you're going to do is to slice up this opening right here. I hope you can see it. Slice it open from here from the side. And then you do the same here. As you can see, it is now open and you can see the gel in it. So I'm going to extract the gel right now and then we can move on. Finish extracting and you can, as you can see, there is nothing here anymore. I've extracted all the gels from it and my plate is looking ready. This is the aloe vera. It is really translucent, so I hope you can see it. So now I'm going to go in and blend it. I'm going to get my blender. I have my blender right here, and I'm going to pour it in, and we can blend. I've poured it into the blender, as you can see. So most times I use ABC to blend, but this is already too acidic, and I don't want it to get so acidic for the skin that it irritates the skin so i'm going to pour in some water distilled water make sure that it is a clean water and then i will cover it up and blend ready to apply on the face so make sure that your face is clean i always say this never apply a face mask on a skin that is dirty or that you haven't washed that has bacteria upon it so make sure that it is well cleaned make sure your face is ready to be applied upon so i'm going to pour it into my mixing bowl 
Mm, this is quite a lot. I'm going to pour it into my mixing bowl right now. So, I'm going to use the spoon and mix it up some more. This is very, very good for the skin. But as you can see in the video that I made, if you have some allergy to tomatoes or aloe vera, you should stay away from it because it's going to bring out all your allergic reactions so i'm going to dip in my brush and then i'll apply this is like very clear on the skin like no one is going to notice they applied anything just like i applied water on my face and i'm going to let it sit in and do its job so i'm going to let it sit in for probably 30 minutes or 15 minutes depending on how fast or how quick i want to see the results so if you do this like not every day i would suggest you do it like twice in a week so that you can see the results as immediate as you want it to be so i hope this was helpful i hope you find it informative aloe vera and tomatoes are great for the skin you can use them separately or together until next time i love you guys Bye.